Hey guys, hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Max Payne 3. <coughs> Dear God. Max Payne 3. So this time we've traveled back to the past, but not too far to the past. We're on a boat. Right now I wish um, I could play that Lonely Island song. It would just be all like, I'm on a boat. Guess what, Max? You want a boat? <laughs> so are these guys. But unfortunately, no hay nadie aquí. Este también está vacía. Encontré a uno de ellos. Fortunately, they will be six feet underwater. Who's next? Come on. Gotta make sure that. I am safety first, you know? Maybe I should have, uh... Damn. Let's try moving up. Ow! Wait, you think you were a tough guy? The bow was well appointed. That was a miss. That's a hit. Come on. Put me on a boat. I can sing. Come on now. Oh. Ah, I suck your battleship. Anybody else? Huh? You. Oh, Jesus. Oh. The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. Uh, I don't know. What kind of... I understand the pirate dream, but like the old fashion pirate dream. You know, going off and... Set sailing the seas, plundering for booty. You know? The radio. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover long after a party had turned sour. Um, okay. The need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. How do you... Move, Max. I don't know how to do that. Shit. I'm gonna die soon. Wait, is this it? Shut it down. Of course, you always gotta look for the thing that's blinking. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. Oh, there's another one. There. I could breathe again. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. 
Way to be positive there, buddy. Oh, Jesus! Dude. So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. Uh, what, no meds? Well, I'd been dead to the world. Some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them? I don't know. We should figure out soon. Oh, damn! Oh! I guess I got a leg up. It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. Neither do I, Max. That's why we're playing through this thing. I didn't like to think what was behind the door. Yeah, let's find some meds first, you know? Booze, coke, pills. You could get whatever party favor you wanted <laughs> in this vessel. Get in. Now let's go behind the door. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. Uh, insert shark we can find, I guess. That was a good job. Let's see, you guys got anything? Whatever they were looking for appeared to be gone. Uh, they might have been looking for coke. You know, after all, this was kind of a party boat. You know. Uh, anything? Have they got some pills? Ugh, dear God, I feel like that one guy from Left 4 Dead. I feel like, give me some pills, man! Nope. Uh, I'm saying out of that. Trying to find some pills. Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee, making the most of her considerable settlement, and Marcella was making the most of her. I didn't. Ah, oh, thanks for putting that thought in my head, Max. They didn't help with my sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good. Grabbing pills. Miguel, vení para acá. So, how are you doing? The list zeal. What are they looking for? What the heck is zeal? It didn't make sense. Why would they leave the jewels and rip open the walls? It didn't occur to me just what the other cargo on board could be. Yeah, I would have taken the jewelry too, actually. Next. I 
I was on a ghost ship in a ghost Dude, canal. Dude, dead hooker. The whole thing creeped me the hell out. Yeah, dude, it's definitely a ghost ship if you saw those texture pops. I mean, us. God, I mean, she might have been a call girl at first, but unfortunately, when you're Daphne's when you're a dead call girl, stopped. you become a hooker. Well, guess what? When they're dead, they're hookers. Oh, Jesus! Fucking <laughs> jerk. <clears throat> oh, shiz. <clears throat> Dude, damn. Why are my bullets going up that way? Okay, who shoot? Oh! This is no time for a margarita. Jerk. Oh, you're the almighty seeing third eye. What are you doing? Once again, how are you doing? I don't have freaking black ops. Ugh. Uh, I don't even know what this room's for. Oh, shiz. Uh, see, uh, wait, no, 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 Tango. I spotted Passos and Marcel. Oh boy. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it, it didn't seem quite so kosher. What about, what's her name? Daphne. I do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay, let's go. Now. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. We're here. You knew your way around here. If you're using that building, you get across the canal. There was some equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. Headshot.
We can get across up top. Uh. and bullshit artists I'd been the cabaret act shooting whatever came in front of me was easier than coming to terms with that reality haha uh -huh. seeing you here. Uh, okay. Oh, damn! See, Next thing you know, there goes his kneecap. Loading rounds into these guys. And I did not see you. I always gotta make sure your uh, performance is good. My good sir. I say good day. And I thought, I could really, I was shooting at a problem. Or there. That was just a warning shot. That was just because I can look awesome. I blocked out all my questions. All I thought about was getting to Daphne Bernstein before it was too late. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Jesus Christ. Things would be like this. I 
I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. Let me ask you again, Max. What do you think you were really doing in Panama? I was drinking. People died. Innocent people. Who do you think robbed you? I don't know. I was told it was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein. Something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? Guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, <coughs> no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes. Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what. I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to launder. But I thought the Broncos were rich. Rodrigo's rich. The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. In Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. Were this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. He failed in America, failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. Probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. Uh, the American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. <sighs> okay, let's take a drive, Max. You want to do some good? Hmm? You want to get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Cacha Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel? Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Well, you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant. I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. <clears throat> Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. Too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. It was the question sure. I kept on asking myself how could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. 
Uh, I don't know. All those metaphors, yeah, I would say so. But uh, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for everything so far. Uh, this is truly, this gratitude is truly grateful. Well, I'm truly grateful for you guys, so.